Hi friends, welcome to Aisha DIY. Today we will learn how to make this cute earrings in Christmas colors. This one I made it with 18 gauge wire and the ear wire 20 gauge wire. And I used cube seed beads for that metallic blue. That goes very well with the copper, I believe. So we'll make this with um, some Christmas colors. So, and I'm gonna make with gold. So I have two ear wires and two measures of seven inch uh, 18 gauge wire and then um, some beads in frosty white and uh, red color four millimeter bicones and tool wise we need wire cutters tweezer nose pliers or needle nose pliers and round nose pliers and nylon jaw pliers if you want to straighten your wire it's good if you straighten your wire before you work with it and then uh, let's just um, start so at the end of the wire, I'm just taking my needle nose or tweezer nose pliers um, to kind of hold the end and then twist it a little bit, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to press it like that. Okay. And now, I will start twisting the wire. So... I'm just starting a spiral. So slowly and steadily, I'm twisting the wire. You can also use flat nose pliers to do that. So slowly I'm doing it. If you do it fastly, there is a possibility that it won't come round. So I'm just moving a little bit and taking off the pliers and moving a little bit and taking off the plier. You can also do it with your hands. Once you have established the spiral, it's easy if you can do it with your hands. But it's always good to move a little bit at a time, not do all at once. This is so far I have made. Once you are about an inch and a half, I would say you just hold the center and then move this like that. I'm just widening the loop. Just widening the loop a little bit. And if you are not able to do that, just straighten it out. Use your nylon jaw pliers to straighten the wire. And then you can just do, you can just hold it and kind of just bend it loosely rather than spiraling. Bend it loosely. If it's, if you see that it's distorting, the shape you can use in your lunge of pliers to kind of help you with that round shape. At this point of time, I'll do the next one too. And one more time, if the ends are not flush, flush cut the ends. Take the needle nose pliers and kind of twist it like that and once you get the U go ahead and squish it just like that and then start your spiral hold it like this and bend bend
just move it gradually then use your flat nose pliers so you'll have more surface to work with just twist and turn just like that as you can see the spiral is forming well don't rush this process I have distorted the shape by just rushing the process so do it a little bit at a time Once you get to this point, you can do it with your fingers. After this point, this is about say three inches. You can just spiral it, but loosely. Just hold it and just bend this just hold it and just bend this just hold it and bend it so if you think that you are going oval shape just make sure that you straighten the wire and just bend it a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just make sure that this is also round and not oval or any other shape once you have this um, exactly and then you can go ahead and thread your beads i'm going to follow a pattern of red and white you can do any beads you want i'm using bicones okay this white is not giving its way inside i think this has a smaller hole let me check this one okay so change of plans let's switch the white with the green and see if it goes okay there we go so green it is fully christmas color So once you have threaded it, kind of move it and just bring the beads I think the crystal doesn't have enough bandwidth to hold 18 um, gauge wire Let's just switch it with seed beads. How about that? All these cube beads. Okay, this looks kind of fun and one red cube okay and okay i kind of like this but i would like to add something a little bit more fun Let's try this. Metallic spacer beads. Yep. They go very well. Okay. This is fun, I guess. Okay. 
one more metal spacer here and then one more cube beads here and just bring this wire back okay and then just gonna snip off a little bit of wire because I don't want this much wire I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and then I'm just going to twist it just like that so this is what we have so far and let's just take all of these beads away one more thing I want to do yes I'm going to take a bench block and hammer this down because um, I want this to be nice and sturdy I'm just keeping it in the corner and hammering it nicely okay once I did this I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and put it in the middle over here and I'm just going to press this There we go, and then kind of adjust it just a little bit. And as you can see, how the coil comes. If you are not happy with it, just adjust it with your pliers, just a tad bit, and you can see how it's domed effect and then we are almost done with that let's just do in this too um, take our beads first is a four millimeter or three millimeter by cone I mean cube one and then a metal spacer bead and then a red metallic um, bead cube bead and this one is probably six millimeter I'm not so sure I bought this long time back and one more spacer bead and a cube bead so let's just have this all lined up and bring this over here and just going to snip off a little bit because we don't need that much And take my round nose pliers and then make a loop and check if the loop is then you can also reduce this loop 
if you want to. Okay. So now they are seen. And making sure all the beads are in the right way see I have made a mirror image because we want this to be in the other year so and then move it like this and keep it in the center and before that one more thing we need to hammer it down so we will hammer the loop and the spiral Once we are happy with the hammer, take your own nose pliers, put it in here and kind of push the spiral down. Okay. And Whenever you are pushing the spiral, you can use your pliers to kind of help you. Get that out. As you can see from the side, this is what it looks like and there we go i'm just pushing i'm just widening this and pushing all my beads down because I want to, I want it to sit properly, so I'm just yes, and then I'm just going to center this. There we go. So we don't need the bench block anymore. You don't have to hammer it, but it's a nice touch to hammer it. Our earrings are almost ready. All we need to do now is open up our ear wire. Always open up your ear wire like a jump ring so that you don't distort the shape. And close it just like that and see for I still feel this one is a little bit big I'm going to step up more and then take my pliers and make the loop properly and close it up nice yes and then open up your ear wire, add your earring and close it. Shut. How cool is that earrings? I hope you like you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment below. I would love to hear your comments. Do it as a mirror image, guys. And it looks really pretty. And it's a nice Christmas. It will be a nice Christmas gift for your friend or a family or for yourself. 
thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye a 3d earring thank you so much bye bye